Antibiotic creams and ointments like Neosporin make claims like number one doctor recommended brand on their labels and in their commercials. However, not all doctors agree about using antibiotics for minor skin infections. In fact, many experts now recommend that preventative antibiotic creams not be used at all for skin infections. And in today's video, you'll find out why. Welcome in guys, I'm Dr. Mez and today we are talking about why you want to think twice before using antibiotics products on minor skin wounds. We will also talk about why and when antibiotics are usually prescribed as well as go over some alternatives to antibiotics. Many have been thought that the best way to treat a wound is to clean it and apply antibiotic ointment right away to prevent infection. But experts now say that antibiotic creams and ointments as well as prescription antibiotics may do more harm than good, especially if used too often or when they're not needed. However, there are times when antibiotic can be helpful. If an infection progresses to an unstable stage, antibiotics may become necessary. Your doctor may decide an antibiotic is necessary to treat skin infection if it is severe. Some of the conditions that may be prescribed for include bacterial and soft tissue infections, cellulitis, impetigo, boils, and MRSA. When infection is left untreated, sepsis can develop. This is where infection spreads into the bloodstream, however, with proper care, most infections won't get that bad and antibiotics aren't needed. If you use antibiotics when they aren't needed, you can cause more problems. Overusing them can lead to antibiotic resistance, germ mutations, and an impaired microbiome. Plus, topical antibiotics are known to cause dermatitis, which means additional irritation and inflammation. Further injury could hinder the healing process. By definition, an antibiotic is a medicine that inhibits the growth and destroys microorganisms. Antibiotics kill bacteria by preventing them from completing critical tasks. They eliminate the bacteria or limits its spread, allowing the body's natural immune system time to kick in and carry out its duties normally. There are several varieties of antibiotics and not all of them work in the same way. Some destroy microbial cell walls while others affect how the cell works. But cells have self-repair mechanisms and are smart enough to know when they are being attacked. When an antibiotic doesn't completely kill off a cell but damages it instead, the cell will begin trying to repair itself by creating a protein to push the antibiotics out. The bacterial cell then begins to assemble resistance protein to protect itself. These resistant cells can then and swap DNA with other bacteria. Within as little as 3 hours, nearly all of bacteria in your body can become resistant to that antibiotic. By then, you've also already suffered irrefutable damage to all that good bacteria in your body, and your body is much less able to fight off future invaders. This means germs continue to grow and spread while becoming impossible to treat. So the idea that we need to apply antibiotics to prevent infection from setting in not only dismisses the body's natural defense mechanism, but it also puts them at risk too. Case in point, vancomycin, an antibiotic often prescribed to treat MRSA. The use of vancomycin became the standard of care in the late 80s when it was first found to treat MRSA and has had a long run as a drug of choice when other types of antibiotics didn't make the cut. Now, we know MRSA is caused by staph bacteria. However, vancomycin is losing potency against the staphylococcus germs, especially MRSA. Serious MRSA infections are no longer responsive to this antibiotic. They build a resistance to it, which is evident by the increased number of MRSA deaths. Researchers blame the widespread use of this antibiotic suggests reconsideration of the 
current antibiotic treatment. But this isn't the first time researchers have come across a problem. Antimicrobial resistance in Staphylococcus came up in the past. It was only a year after penicillin was first used that it was found to be ineffective against Staph. The main point is that antibiotics and antibiotic creams should only be used when the infection cannot be treated by any other means. So, you're probably wondering what you should do instead. There are other ways to deal with minor skin infections. The idea is to support your body's natural ability to purge this bacteria. If you're going to apply something topically, make sure it is A. Good for the skin with skin mending properties. B. Antibacterial but not an antibiotic. C. Has the ability to draw impurities out of the skin. The Universal Skin Healer Salve is an all natural product made by my magic healer that is time proven to help with various skin issues. The Universal Salve helps pull inflammation and fluid containing this bad bacteria to the surface of the skin. Countless individuals have successfully used the Universal Salve on their hair pus filled rashes, boils, acne, and yes, even staph infections like MRSA. What many have found is that it not only helps to quickly reduce pain and inflammation, but does so in as little as 24 hours. Salve users also frequently adore its ability to keep the skin well hydrated and nourished. As many as people decide to keep it around to use as safeguard against other skin problems. The Universal Salve causes is no antibiotic resistance and is gentle enough for babies. The secret to this skin-loving formula is the therapeutic qualities of the ingredients. For instance, natural beeswax is known to inhibit bacterial growth including staph bacteria while at the same time soothing the skin and calming inflammation. It also initiates a repetitive process and helps the skin to stay hydrated. And that is just that one ingredient. It also contains egg yolk oil, which draws bacteria and inflammation to the surface and promotes healing and permeability promoting grab seed oil, olive oil, and propolis. Let's see what people are saying about the universal sob. These people struggle with a painful condition known as HS, which causes lesions and tracks to form deep beneath the skin. This is what some HS warriors had to say about the universal sob. And these people found the salve worked better than antibiotic treatments for their skin infections. Some people have found it to be helpful in combating Staphylococcus bacteria and others agree that it's essential for dealing with any and all skin problems. Even large painful bumps like this are no match for the universal saw. So there you have it. Now that we know how antibiotics might affect the skin, you'll agree that it's at least worth giving the universal saw a shot. If you do, make sure you come back here and let us know all about it. We love to hear all your amazing skin healing stories. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss out when we post a new content. And always remember, you hold the key to your skin's recovery and we are here ready to help no matter where you are on this journey. Happy healing! See you next time!